On the outside, the lives of most tennis players and their families look perfect, peaceful, calm, and devoid of the littlest controversy. But that is not always the case. On very rare occasions, we see the perfect lives and careers of these world-famous sports stars being interrupted and jeopardized by the actions of a family member, actions that they have no control over. Novak Djokovic has gained massive popularity as a tennis player. He recently won his 10th Australian Grand Slam, tying him with Nadal on 22 Grand Slams in total. However, the star has attracted attention for other reasons too. This being the controversy regarding his father's supposed display of support for the dictatorial leader and instigator of the Russian-Ukraine war, Vladimir Putin. Will the 22-time Grand Slam champion be suspended on account of his father's disruptive behavior, or will he be pardoned? Let's find out. To fully understand the Serbian tennis player's history with his father, we have to head back to the very beginning. Novak was born on the 22nd of May 1987 in Belgrade, Serbia. Several years later, the now 35-year-old has made a resounding track record in the tennis world. Not long ago, he was ranked world number one for a total of 373 weeks, which was a big deal. After his Australian Open heroics, he is back at the top as the world number one. Only the most talented players reach these heights, and Novak happens to be among the most exceptional few. As impressive as that sounds, well, that's not all. Subsequently, he surprises fans and foes alike by winning a record-setting 10th Australian Open title. Currently, the tennis superstar can be said to be at the peak of his career as he has back to being world number one in the ATP rankings. It is also worth noting that during his very eventful career, Djokovic has accumulated a whopping 92 ATP singles titles. In a nutshell, not only has Novak made his family proud, but he has also broken records and set new ones for the younger generations to come. While Novak's achievements are nothing short of inspiring, it seems there's trouble in paradise. Recently, the sports star's father was seen posing with some Putin fans involved in a mini campaign for the Russian leader. In the video that surfaced, Novak's father was seen standing together with someone who seemed to be the ringleader of the campaign. In the ringleader's hand was a Russian flag which had Putin's face imprinted on it. As time went on and the campaign progressed, Novak's father was reportedly saying words such as, long live the Russians, while standing next to the ringleader of the group. The entire scenario can be described as a gathering of people who have set out to publicize and show support for the man they believe in. Having said that, it's pretty easy to see why anyone found among the campaign group would immediately be associated with whatever is going on. And so, for someone as influential as Sergei Djokovic, well, that's as controversial as it gets. Shortly after the pictures surfaced, the famous tennis player received a warning statement from one of the governing bodies of tennis in Australia concerning his father's conduct. In the warning statement, the organization urged Novak and his family to desist from any political demonstrations as he is expected to show neutrality in matters like this. When news of the warning hit the media, many were surprised to learn that Tennis Australia was concerned about such incidents, given that Novak himself was not directly involved. Others who supported the actions of the Tennis Australia hammered in the fact that the families of popular tennis stars equally play an important role in shaping their image. Upon hearing the news that his father had broken the internet for all the wrong reasons, Novak immediately swung into action. First, he put out a statement in an attempt to clear the air and restore his father's reputation. In his statement, the Serbian tennis player claimed that his father was misunderstood as he would never in any way support violence and especially not wars. If anything, he said his father loved peace and tranquility. Novak then went on to recount the truth about the incident, saying that his father usually stayed outside the Rod Laver Arena at the end of each match to greet his fans on their way out. In line with his long-standing tradition, Serjan Djokovic had stayed behind on that faithful day, greeting fans who came to support his son during his semi-final win. Along the line, he noticed a group of people who he thought were Novak's fans having fun, so he thought to join them in their chants and little demonstrations. According to Novak, his father was only misused by the Russian demonstrators. During the demonstration, many Serbian flags were around the area, so Serjan innocently assumed he was taking pictures with Serbian natives. Without thinking much of it, he joined in taking pictures with them, after which he moved on. To authenticate and add substance to his son's claims, Serjan released a statement showing concerns for the possible effects his unknown actions might have had on his son's career. In his statement, he made it clear he was only present at the semifinals to support his son and never had any intentions of causing trouble. The seemingly doting father went on to state that his family had previous horror encounters with war, so agitating for the continuation of the Russian-Ukraine war was the last thing he would do. 
According to the video released, the ringleader of the demonstration was holding up a Russian flag with the Z sign boldly imprinted at the center. Over the last few months, the sign is said to have been used by Putin supporters to show their support for the Russian-Ukraine war, which had been going on for several months. The war started on the 24th of February 2022 as a result of the actions of the dictatorial leader and commander-in-chief of the Russian army, Vladimir Putin. Following Djokovic's quarter-final victory over Russian Audrey, these Russian supporters gathered at the steps to celebrate with the winner. They waved their Russian flags and chanted, Russia, Serbia. Of course, this did not go down well with the security officials in the area, so they politely asked the demonstrators to leave the premises. Looking at the scenario, it's obvious that security failed to stop the group as quickly as expected, as that would have prevented more chaos. As the release video shows, the demonstrators were allowed to spend more time at the stairs before finally leaving. It was at this point that Novak's father saw them and joined them. Having looked over the statements put out by the father and son, it is quite clear that Novak's father had no intentions of instigating a protest or causing a dispute. In fact, according to him, his family has been through tougher times, and they were in no way in support of the Russian-Ukraine war. It is also important to note before this incident, there had not been any report of Novak or his father's involvement with the war. So as surprising as it is to find him in this position, Serjan's claims should indeed be considered. Also, in Novak's statement concerning the issue, he said, It was unfortunate that the misinterpretation of what happened has escalated to such a high level. There are a lot of conversations with the tournament director, the media, and with everyone else. It has got to me, of course, as well. I was not aware of it until last night. Then, of course, I was not pleased to see that. My father, my whole family, and I have been through several wars during the 90s. As my father put in a statement, we are against war. We will never support any violence or any war. We know how devastating that is for the family and for the people in any country that is going through war. The photo that he made, he was passing through. I heard that he said in the video, he said, cheers. Unfortunately, some of the media have misinterpreted that in the wrong way. There are a lot of Serbian flags around. That is what he thought. He thought he was taking a photo with somebody from Serbia. Since the video was released, Tennis Australia has already released a statement restating their stand and encouraging their players to desist from causing disruption or engaging in actions that might cause chaos. That wasn't all. There had been talks about the possible banning of Novak's father from coming to watch his son play in the finals. To say that Tennis Australia has not seen worse times with the talented player would be an understatement. Given the extent of the recent controversy, you might be wondering if this is the first of its kind. Has Novak been involved in controversies since the onset of his career? Well, in a way he has, but I wouldn't say it was the same scenario. Last year, Novak missed the tournament due to his insistence on not taking the COVID-19 vaccine, which was made mandatory for every player. But aside from this incident, Novak has not been involved in any major crisis or dispute. Instead, he is focused on winning tournaments. That's it for the controversy involving Novak Djokovic's father, Serjan, and his involvement with the pro-Putin protesters. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do well to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned to our channel.